and I say good morning everyone and this good is morning, June Cruz from the uh, San Guneang Lai or the Council of the Late of the Philippines and we are very uh, fortunate to have uh, Father Don Calloway with us together with the uh, different leaders and the members of the committee of the uh, consecration to Saint Joseph uh, which we wish to uh, promote and, and, and uh, share with the Filipino people. Today, before I formally introduce Father Don, I just would like to uh, uh, formally introduce also Ambassador Howard D, who is really the pro main proponent of this event. Ambassador Howard D has been the, uh, a man of service for many years, uh, appointed as the Philippine Ambassador to the Holy See and Malta during the time of President Cory Aquino. And after that has been assigned by the government in many, many significant roles, but has offered his life for the empowerment of the poor through social development. He's the founder of the Assisi Foundation and many other um, organizations, but its spiritual arm, the Marian Solidarity, okay, uh, is uh, one that's being, uh, that, that spearheads a lot of the spiritual activities and Marian events in the Philippines. And the Catholic Bishops' Conference will not move okay, unless they consult Ambassador Howard D. Okay? So that is how, I mean, Vicky is smiling right now, but that is true. The, all the bishops defer, defer to the recommendation and ju judgment of uh, Ambassador Howard D. with respect to any movement or uh, activities uh, connected with Our Lady. So today I start by saying happy birthday, Mama Mary. Uh, it's her birthday in the Philippines, and uh, <laughs> the world. No. Yeah, and it's a, it's a birthday, Mama Mary. And uh, I would like to introduce now quickly Miss Vicky Bores. Miss Vicky Bores is uh, uh, main one of the main pillars of the Marian Solidarity and the Assisi Foundation, and actually she runs the show. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Humbly she will say no. Okay, and uh, she's now also heading together with Mr. Dennis Arroyo. Uh, I'll, uh, Dennis, can you introduce, uh, I'll, 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 I'll give maybe a, a minute for everyone to kindly introduce themselves to Father Don before we, we ask him to speak. Uh, can I start with uh, Vicky? Just uh, introduce yourself, please. Uh, hi, Father. My name is Vicky. I'm, I've been working with Ambassador D for the last uh, 30, 30 years and, um, and has fallen in love with Our Lady as she has. So now we're doing St. Joseph and I'm very happy to meet you now. This is a, a CC Foundation. Thank you, Vicky. Mr. Dennis? Uh, yeah, good morning, Father, and thanks for, for being here. I, I'm Dennis Arroyo. I, I help out in whatever assignments they give me. Uh, usually, I do the right thing. So. That, that's all, Father. <laughs> <laughs> Mama Lou? Uh, Hi, Malu. Father. Good afternoon. <laughs> I'm Malu. And uh, I'm just a friend of Vicky, but I'm here to serve for Mama Mary and St. Joseph. And uh, Mr. Joseph Gisalba. Mr. Joseph Gisalba is the most powerful lay person in the Philippines. <laughs> because he's the executive secretary of the Episcopal Commission. And, uh, he, he writes to all and connects, coordinates with everyone. So Joseph, can you introduce yourself? Hi, Father. Hello. I am Joseph Jesalba. I work with the Council of the Native of the Philippine Secretariat. Uh, I'm glad to meet you in this meeting. Also, the other members of the group. Good, good morning. Thank you, Joseph. Salamat po. Salamat. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, today, we hope that we can send a message to uh, our fellow Filipinos. And we'd like to take this opportunity to introduce Father Don Calloway. He's the Viker Provincial of the uh, uh, Marian. I, I wrote it here, Father, don't worry. He's <laughs> the Viker Provincial of the Marian Fathers of the Immaculate Conception of the province of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Mercy. He is a, an author of a lot of very inspiring books, but very recently uh, wrote this very inspiring book, Consecration to St. Joseph, which we believe will be. A, 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 a pivotal point, a turning point for the spirituality of the men of the Philippines at the same time, a turning point in the lives of the Catholics to become more and more de dedicated okay, in, 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 the, the, in the, taking care of the families. So there's 
this is something very important. Would like Father Don to just introduce himself, maybe share a short story about himself, and then make his appeal to the people. Father Don, if we please. Well, hello, my friends. Thank you so much for having me. And um, I want to speak briefly just to the, the great people of the Philippines and to the bishops, to the bishops who will watch this video. It is an honor for me to be able to speak to you because I love the Filipino people. I, I wish I was a Filipino because <laughs> without the Filipinos, especially the strong faith of the Filipino women praying those rosaries, I would not be a Catholic because many years ago, I, I was not a Catholic, but uh, a group of Filipino women in the United States, they took me under their care and they taught me how to pray the rosary, how to pray novenas. And I went from being a very, very troubled teenager to becoming a Catholic. Uh, because of those Filipino women. They were so good to me. And then I discerned my vocation to be a priest. And so now I have been a priest for 17 years, and I've been a Catholic for 27 years. So I am very grateful to the Filipinos. Now, what I would like to share with you is very special that I think the Filipino people will love. And that is a new form of devotion to St. Joseph called consecration to St. Joseph. I know the Filipinos love Mama Mary. Oh, the Filipinos love Mama Mary so much. Well, now today, you know, we have a lot of problems in the world, in the United States and everywhere, even in the Philippines. The family is being attacked. You know, marriages are being threatened by so many ideologies, so many different ideas in the world. And now would be a great time to bring in the head of the Holy Family, St. Joseph, to help us in this situation. And you know, right now is perfect timing because it's 2020 right now. And 150 years ago, blessed Pope Pius IX, he declared St. Joseph the patron of the universal church, making him basically the spiritual father of the church. Well, today, when we have all these problems in the world against the family, attacks against the church, we also have this pandemic where many people, are out of work, they lost their job. So they're very anxious, they're very fearful about the future. What better time than right now to bring in St. Joseph, to give people hope, to give them a loving father, to teach men how to be strong leaders again, because many men have fallen from this understanding in, in societies and in cultures. Now is the time. And I really think that the Holy Spirit is wanting us to, to turn our attention to St. Joseph. I think that Jesus and Mary want us to do this. And you know, I spent the last four years of my life doing a lot of research and, and traveling and translating from other languages to gather into one place a formula where we can do a preparation, where we can spend 33 days getting to know and love St. Joseph, and then we give ourselves to him through a formal consecration that is life-changing. You know, we love Jesus. By our baptism, he is our God. He is our Savior. We love him with everything. And we love Mama Mary. She is the best way to go to Jesus. And now today, when the family is under attack, when the church, the family of God is under attack, let's bring in St. Joseph. Let's include him in our, in our love, in our, in our families, in our parishes, in our diocese. And so I would love to ask the Filipino people, and especially the bishops, please, we have an opportunity with this book and this program to consecrate our parishes, families, individuals, even your entire diocese, if you would like, to great, the great St. Joseph. I think that this would be very satisfying to the Pope. You know, the Pope has a great love for St. Joseph. I think he would very much uh, love to see this happen around the world. Maybe the Filipino people can lead the example, like you do in so many things. Like, you, you help to bring about the conversion of this this American boy. Now maybe the Filipinos can lead the example by leading the Filipino people and maybe the whole world to St. Mm -hmm. Joseph. It would be a great opportunity. And you know, my religious community, the Marian Fathers, are in the Philippines. We're in Cagayan de Oro in Mindanao. We run the Shrine to Divine Mercy, very famous shrine there. And also we're in uh, near uh, the famous uh, Santo Tomas University there. Uh, so we're so you can get the book in the Philippines now. It's available there as well. So my dear friends, salamat po to you and your culture. I love the Filipinos. My dear bishops listening to me, 
let's do this. Pray to the Holy Spirit. Ask Mama Mary if this is what Jesus wants to happen. I think it will bless the great, great country of the Philippines. God bless you all. Maraming salamat, wow. Father. Wow. But Donnie, I'm teasing wow. you there because Father Donnie said that oh, no one calls him Donnie. But, uh, <laughs> but in reality, we'd like to really thank you for this opportunity to really uh, sound the call to the Filipino people and also to the Filipino bishops in line with the preparation and very soon the celebration of the 500th year of the coming of Christianity in the Philippines. The progress had been set, but suddenly there was a change. Instead of just celebrating it on March 21, March 16, 2021, it became a year-long celebration from March 20, 16, 2021 to March 16, 2022, which means we have a lot of time, which means there is a possibility to put in a program, a, a new spiritual movement within the dioceses and parishes saying, this might really be the time of St. Joseph, wherein a one-year uh, celebration has been given to us, and it could really be done in the different dioceses. So thank you very much, Father Don, for, for your message to us and to our Filipino bishops. Okay. Thank you, my friend. Anything I can do for the Filipinos, I owe you my life. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, I will turn the record off, okay, so that uh, we can cut it. Now, I will be. Uh, I know that there will be some questions from um, from Vicky and Dennis and the, and the rest. Father, if you could just give us a little more time, just if you're okay. Sure. Yeah. Turning the record. Yeah. Off. Uh, yeah. Okay.